Greensboro go. Is to learn new details today following the arrest of Sean Diddy Combs in New York City as he's expected to begin a, a, be arraigned this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Irene Cruz here in studio with the latest. Irene. So tell me about your birthday party. Am I invited? Yes. Yes, you're definitely invited. When I invite you to all my parties. You just haven't seen the show up. To no, well, here. there <laughs> is it on the East Coast. Yes. Well, that's why. Why don't yeah. you have one here on the West Coast? Because I work all the time. Okay. Well, may maybe I have one at your house. Where's that? <laughs> <laughs> now, what time would your party start, let's say? Like 9.30. Really? That early? Yeah. I could make that. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I could think of you of, of starting a party at like midnight. Like what time will it go that, till? That's a different type of party, though. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, it, no, it, it'll go from like 9.30 to like maybe 3 o'clock. Two, three o'clock, and then you know we have the top two floors of the hotel, mm -hmm. we'll... and then it will carry on there. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. then it... mm -hmm. No, I mean um, the, the after party. Mm -hmm. No, I know about them. Um, <laughs> I listen to the music. Um, <laughs> I've heard that song after party, um, <laughs> but that was at the Holiday Inn, I think. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I ain't gonna say that. I heard about that though, but I ain't about to say that. What? what, what? You and Diddy? You and Diddy? Yeah. yeah. you and Diddy. You and Diddy what? You and Diddy. No. It, it said he was. It said he was. He was How you knew that? How you, how you, how you know now that? I'm about to Google because I ain't never That's heard this. He said he was Diddy's boy toy. Uh, yeah, what? He's, I was in Jamaica with him. Oh, I see it now. See? <laughs> I was well, in Jamaica with him. in Jamaica with his alleged boo, Diddy. Can we talk about Diddy new boy toy? Why can't I start? Why you did this to Diddy, man? It's messed up, man. I was asking my rumors so he could clear it up. That's what the breakfast was. Yeah, I didn't even know that. That ain't nothing that needs to be cleared up. This dumbass lawyer said he probably got it at Costco. <laughs> Costco hit right back. We don't even sell baby oil. We be having a real You probably got it at Costco. <laughs> Costco hit right back. We don't even sell, baby. Mm -hmm. they, put the, they put the drugs in the baby oil. You thinking you getting a massage? to get uh, Prince William and Prince Harry to uh, to a ditty party. I don't think, not, not, not anymore. I mean, before, you know. <laughs> Trust me, they're off the list. <laughs> After now, they're off the list. But you know, before, when they were young bucks growing up and they were getting in a lot of trouble themselves. So, hey, I was like, why don't you come hang out with me? New footage has emerged showing Diddy and Ellen DeGeneres together at a recent party, and it's quickly grabbed the public's attention. People are curious about what their relationship is really like, looking closely at every detail in the hope of finding out more. This video isn't just another peek into the lives of celebrities. It's got people wondering how Diddy and Ellen are really connected. How did this footage even make its way online? And perhaps more intriguingly, what story does it tell? Was this just a casual night out or is there more to it? The timing of this video's release is particularly noteworthy, and it may even be unsettling for some observers. Diddy is currently facing a number of significant controversies, and this unexpected footage with Ellen has shifted the focus onto him in a different way. Fans are really engaged, watching and re-watching clips of Diddy and Ellen having fun at various high-profile events. The way they're all relaxed, laughing and looking totally unfazed has only made people wonder more, is there something about their relationship that we don't know yet?
One particularly noteworthy moment was when Diddy and Ellen were seen together at a major music awards show. They weren't just passing the time, they were actively engaged, sharing jokes, laughing, and clearly enjoying each other's company as they watched performances side by side. This particular interaction caused a bit of a stir and led to online speculation about the true nature of their bond. Many fans are wondering if their connection is just platonic or if there's more to it. We've got this client, um, you plan to file the suit this week. There hasn't been um, a lot of detail about it, but I think you can reveal a little more tonight about exactly what your client says Diddy did to her. Tell, tell us a little more if you can, even though the suit's not officially been filed. Yes, I'll have the suit filed uh, sometime this week, probably in the next couple of days. Um, it's just in editing right now, just to get the final touches on it, just to make sure we haven't missed any causes of action. I think as it stands right now, we're at 19 causes of actions from sexual assault, sexual battery, of course, RICO uh, charges and uh, sex trafficking. But essentially, my client was raped by Mr. Combs, his bodyguard, and a friend who invited my client to his home to set up this whole situation. It, the details are graphic in nature, and the complaint lays out all of the details in the graphic, just deplorable way my client was victimized in that day, or in that night, rather, and her harrowing escape and how she was able to finally get away and managed to get to safety after the gruesome attack. 100 victims. One. More than two dozen of those future plaintiffs. How does that even make sense? 100 victims? This is just one, one phase of the allegations and stuff. Like, on top of that, he had allegations prior. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. Diddy Combs, on behalf of more than 100 victims, more than two dozen of those future plaintiffs say they were just kids. Look, I try to share in life. I think that you learn that in kindergarten. And, um, you know, unfortunately, people forget that what they learned in kindergarten a lot of times. And so sharing is a part of it. You know, let, let other people utilize your crayons, too. It's OK. And so that's kind of how I live my life. You know what I'm saying? Like share when it's appropriate. Um, set the example when it's appropriate, when it's in, when it's in line with my vision. These kind of things are a consequence of those kinds of actions, as opposed to it being like something I set out to do or contract. It wasn't planned, you know. Like everybody wants to paint themselves as a genius, but I don't. I don't even know how I got here. All I know is I follow my bliss. You know what I'm saying? I do what I love, and here we are. You know what I mean? One of the biggest music executives was just arrested. I'm curious if you have any opinion on his arrest or the alleged action. No, I feel for his children. The rest I can't speak on. I mean, you know, that's what we got court system for, but I feel for his kids. But I felt very, very good because yeah. I knew the size of the lady game. Uh, yeah. No did it Pete Paul now. I'm just saying. I just knew it. I just cause you know I know they just wait, they wait, they wait, they wait, waiting on you. We knew the lit. I'm talking about in basketball terms. Don't y'all be going this. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just the one time I'm saying it for Ocho and I on nightcap. No, did it. We <laughs> knew the lady game cars were too big for the Iowa Hawkeyes. That size, six foot seven Cardosa. Mm. You had a uh, Watkins. I just want you to, you know, what these rappers all these singers, all these big rappers y'all y'all look up to. They always tell you what the good part about, but you, they never tell you what the bad part. That's just, that, and that's crazy, man. Yeah, they got all this money, but get they, they, they're dealing with emo spirits. They're dealing with kids themselves. Kids have like an hour left. So get extra comfortable, kids, because after that, y'all got to go. It's a wrap for y'all, because this thing turns into something that when y'all get older, y'all don't want to come to. Okay? So, you know, let's just start to get our groove on a little bit. Then an hour, we put the kids away. It's all good. All right, DJ, let's hit it. Let's do it. Okay, now Beyonce kid and black called Sia. What the? Fuck? When is the last time you seen heard about Sia? Never. Bare time ago. But Bare she was number ago. one on radio for a minute. So in 2016, she puts out a random tweet. Yeah. Like no correlation. It's one of those ones where it's like eggs, bacon, uh, grease. Oh, it's a code. It's yeah, a code. It's code. It's code. Oh, I'll show you the code, bro. Yeah. It says. Baby, everything your own nice cat eats, period. Kangaroo is dead. Nowhere and purple penguins every day. My egg. What the fuck? 
Drake. Yeah. You take every single letter of the first word oh. and it spells Beyonce kidnap me. No way. We don't got to clap cuz I'm at a point in my life like we all grew up in the streets and we try to be better but they labeled us felons, sent us back to jail. I had to fight against that the whole time to gain my respect and be who I am today. And I'm proud of that. And I'm... It's a list. Please, please, God told me to ask y'all for help. I need your help. I need your help. I can't do it alone. I'm overwhelmed. I'm going crazy. And God, I beg you, I beg you, I beg you. So I'm fighting this fight. And to other people, it's an impossible It's not impossible. It's going to happen. Adding to the intrigue is Ellen's famously playful attitude towards Diddy, especially when she's on her talk show. She's even given him affectionate nicknames like Cuddle MC Snuggle Stuff and used this term in a heartfelt birthday message for him on social media. In normal circumstances, this playful nickname would be seen as just light-hearted banter between two industry colleagues. However, in view of this new footage, Fans are re-examining that nickname, wondering if it was just friendly teasing or if it hinted at something more between them. With renewed interest, fans are looking closely at social media posts, past interactions and public appearances to see what they can find out about the relationship between Diddy and Ellen. The fact that both Diddy and Ellen have stayed silent about the recent rumours has only added fuel to the fire. It's often the things that aren't said in these situations that can be just as revealing as what is openly discussed. This new footage has got people wondering if Ellen and Diddy are more than just friends or business partners. With Diddy facing legal issues at the moment, people are talking more and more about his relationship with Ellen. This raises an interesting question. Does Ellen know anything about the darker side of Diddy's life? Or was she simply enjoying the luxurious celebrity lifestyle without much knowledge of his controversies? As fans wait to see if Diddy or Ellen will respond to the growing speculation, these rumours continue to spark conversations, leaving the public wondering if more will eventually come to light. Until Diddy or Ellen chooses to address the matter, this intrigue is likely to persist fueling even more curiosity and online debates about the true nature of their relationship. What time do you stay up till? I stay up till like maybe 6, or, six in the morning. I'm back up at like 10, 30, 11. 6 in the morning? What do you do every night till 6 in the morning? You don't go to clubs every night. No, no I, mean, I, I mean, I make love a lot. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, I, you know, you know, you know, That's Ellen, my when favorite I, when, when, answer when, ever. When, <laughs> when, I told you when I came on the show, I was going to be completely honest and expose myself to the world. <laughs>